Why should we care about GDP per capita? As we're going to see, more GDP per capita goes beyond just having more material goods, more sports cars, more boats, more consumer electronics. It leads to a better life. First, economics growth is a recent phenomena. This is world GDP over the last two millennia. This data here are adjusted for inflation. Self-reported life satisfaction versus GDP per capita. On the horizontal axis, we have GDP per capita, ranging from 1,000 to 100,000. And here we have self-reported life satisfaction in a bunch of different countries. And you can see there is a positive relationship here. As per capita GDP goes up, people tend to report higher life satisfaction. Literacy rate versus GDP per capita. As GDP per capita increases, literacy rates increase. Life expectancy versus GDP per capita. As GDP per capita increases, life expectancy at birth rises. The decline of neonatal mortality by level of prosperity. Here we're looking at neonatal mortality rate, which is a number of uh, babies dying before reaching 28 days of age. And we can see that this rate here, uh, the number dying per 1,000 live births, is decreasing as GDP per capita rises. The death rate from pneumonia for children versus GDP per capita. So the death rate here from pneumonia and other lower respiratory diseases is falling as GDP per capita increases. The death rate from diarrheal disease in children versus GDP per capita. Negative relationship as GDP per capita rises. This uh, death rate here from diarrheal type diseases falls. The Human Development Index is based on a long healthy life, access to education, and a decent standard of living. As we see here, as GDP per capita rises, the Human Development Index increases. Violence against children is slightly lower in richer countries. The share of population with improved sanitation versus GDP per capita, positive association here. The correlation between internet users and GDP per capita, positive association. Average learning outcomes versus GDP per capita. Higher GDP per capita, higher learning outcomes. The World Health Organization estimates that millions of people die each year from indoor and outdoor air pollution. A major source of indoor air pollution is cooking with um, unsafe, unclean fuels. So access to clean fuels for cooking is vital in reducing the burden of health and mortality from indoor air pollution. And so you see here a positive association as GDP per capita rises, access to clean fuels and other technologies for cooking increases. In this diagram here, we're looking at the death rate from outdoor air pollution versus GDP per capita. And what's being displayed here in this graph is this uh, idea of this Kuznets curve. Uh, the idea is that as a country first develops, environmental quality initially worsens with the onset of industrial growth, but then peaks at a certain stage of economic development, and from then on, environmental quality begins to improve with increased development. So there's sort of an inverted U here. So poor, very, very poor countries don't have much in the way of industrial production, and so there's not much pollution going on as countries first start developing. Uh, pollution starts increasing, so in these middle income levels here, uh, we are, tend to be associated with more pollution, but then once countries continue to get richer, they now have the resources uh, to tackle uh, pollution. Here's a sh uh, the share of children in employment versus GDP per capita. So uh, countries that have higher GDP per capita have fewer children employed compared to those countries that have low GDP per capita. Access to electricity versus GDP per capita, positive association here. And in this last slide, we see participation of women in purchase decisions. 
the percentage of currently married women aged 15 to 49 who say that they alone or jointly have a say in major household purchase decisions. As we can see here, there is uh, appears to be a positive association with GDP per capita and women participating in some of these household purchase decisions. Okay, I will stop here.